Oh I was God. like, I've never experienced that ever. And that was my daily life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys can hear me. We're at the Tokyo International Forum today and we have a special guest today. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Barrett. Um, I live in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Japanese American and I grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii. Yay! <laughs> Um, so he was kind enough to join me today because um, I reached out and asked if he could collab with me and he said yes and here we are collabing and my husband is in the background helping us out so thank you Cloud. And the topic, we have two topics. One will be on my channel, the other will be on his. And on my channel, I want to talk about the differences between being Japanese American in Hawaii versus Florida because it's both tropical but you know, very different. So yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> okay, wait, where's my question? I have different questions. So, I have some questions that I would like both of us to answer. Did you have other Japanese Americans while growing up? Around me, yeah. Hawaii is super Asian, so like a large percent of the percentage of the population is Asian. A lot of my friends are Japanese Americans, so yeah, it was almost you know weird to see a non-Asian person in yeah. a sense. Um, oh yeah, so it's, it's a very much Asian influence. Lot, so. Wow, that's crazy <laughs> because uh, I grew up in Florida and like I barely knew anyone that was Asian American. No Japanese American, and then like maybe like one Asian American, and the rest were like white, black, Hispanic. So yeah, it's yeah. very very different. very different. How was the Japanese community like if there was like any? I think the Japanese community it was definitely there, uh -huh. but it wasn't like purposeful organizations. Of course there are organizations that do uh -huh. certain things, but because there's so many Japanese Americans, it was kind of, we took it for granted that we just have this community going on. Uh -huh. um, but there definitely was like home dances. Oh, nice. um, there's a Japanese cultural center in Honolulu. Um, so it's definitely strong. Even just the day-to-day -day life, yeah. the food, and even some of the words that we use. I was watching one of his videos and I remember you were saying that um, some celebrations are in Hawaii but not in Japan itself. Like, yeah. Yakudoshi? Right? Yes, Yakudoshi <laughs> is I was funny. Like, I was like, wow, because I never heard of Yakudoshi like celebrated that way. Yeah, I was. that was a culture shock for yeah. me coming to Japan because we have Yakudoshi in Hawaii which is um, supposed to be an unlucky time. Uh -huh. But we, for my dad, we had a surprise party and it was like, this big thing, and so I always felt that. Yeah, I need to. Oh, okay, wait, does that Does that work? Alright, slight blooper there. <laughs> you guys didn't see anything. We got in trouble. Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, what was it? What were we talking about? Yeah, people see. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, we would celebrate it in Hawaii. And then I came to Japan. I was working in a school, and my student was preparing a bunch of cranes. And I was like, oh, I get for Yakudoshi. And she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and yeah. um, she called the teacher, and the teacher was talking to me, like, no, that's not Yakudoshi. Like, what, what are you talking about? You know, we don't celebrate yeah. it. It's bad luck. So, definitely uh, culture shock from uh, yeah. originally Japanese culture, but got changed in yeah. Hawaii. So. Wait, so why was it like lucky? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, my, my theory is that um, yeah. because it's a bad luck um, thing, they kind of mm. created something to you know counter that, oh. and so we're gonna celebrate it and yeah, not yeah. have it be bad luck. So that's so interesting. Yeah. It's like um, the Japanese community in Florida was like bad. There was like yeah. nothing, and everyone that was Japanese wasn't Japanese American, but there are people who came to Japan. No, came to. Florida from directly from Japan. So they were just playing like mahjong, they were drinking together. <laughs> Never had that kind of like community, so yeah. I'm like I'm jealous. Yeah. That sounds fun. I yeah. want to celebrate Yakudoshi. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we already answered it, but any Japanese any other Japanese events that were celebrated and if so was it like a community thing or like a family thing? Um, we had we would have bomb dances actually. Um, different communities would uh -huh. have these bomb dances every summer. Um, my family originated or originated, but lived on Kauai, uh -huh. which is a neighbor island to uh -huh. the main island. And so they would have a lot of bomb dances, and uh -huh. we would go for the summer as a family. Yeah. And my grandma there would take part in the dancing, wow. um, and they would have these booths of like different foods and everything. So it's almost like a little mini carnival or festival yeah, kind of that's thing. So fun. Yeah, it was definitely. So fun. were you used to like wearing your I did. You did? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were just we were we were there for the food and for watching oh, okay, everything. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's 
sounds so fun. Yeah. Like, I've only seen it in anime, so like, I always wanted to go. They have like the big tower in the middle, yeah. right? or is it like an anime thing? It, no, it really is that. Really? Um, there's like a tower of like, I, I really have no idea what's going on here, but like there's people in the tower and they'll play like yeah. taiko drums and, yeah. and people like do the dances yeah. and go around in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty That's much how so much cool. I know. So that means that they passed it on, right? Yeah. Through like the generation. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Did it, do you think it changed like the dance? It probably did. Um, <laughs> if Yakudoshi changed that much, I'm pretty sure the bowling dances changed as well. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Oh yeah, so Japanese events. Um, so there was like one Japanese festival that would happen like yearly in where I grew up. But it was like for other people to learn about Japanese uh, okay. culture and not really like celebrating as like a culture itself. Yeah. So we would have like booths and you know, there would be like events like performances. But like they'll, they'll bring in like anime and cosplay and stuff too so that like other people would kind of like know more about Japan. So it wasn't more of like a... It wasn't. It didn't feel like a Japanese thing. It felt more of a let's share our community with right. other cultures kind of thing. Did they have like food booths and stuff? Like yeah, that? they did. My parents owned a sushi restaurant, oh. but somehow they also sold curry. So we would all, always sell curry with like yeah katsu on top and stuff. For like a uh, typical Florida person, what is the easiest Japanese food um, to, for them to eat? To like find or to find and to just like um, be okay with trying. <laughs> Can I be super like? Uh, what's it called? Plain? Yeah. Probably Pocky. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't like pocky? <laughs> but like, I mean like food food? Yeah. Most likely sushi. Sushi. And most likely Americanized sushi. Mm. With like mayo and stuff on top. What about you? Um, white people will eat like pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, natto gets to like, it's a case by case situation. But there you are different natto? people, yeah. Wow. So I grew up with my mom and my grandma eating it. So yeah, yeah. I I started eating natto at a young age, so yeah. I thought it was normal. I loved it. I still yeah, love yeah. it. I like it too. Yeah. yeah. But not many people do. Oh no. It's and not it, he it doesn't is. like it. I, I think if I didn't grow up with it, I would think it was disgusting. Like <laughs> I, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> Some people say it smells like feet, but it tastes like so much better than feet. So I urge you to try it. Oh wow, we keep answering this, the, question, the next question. <laughs> How common was Japanese food while like growing up? Um, yeah, it was just oh, common really? everywhere. Wow. But I want to say that it's like Hawaii Japanese food is not necessarily authentic Japanese food. It's like, you know how sushi gets changed to American yeah, sushi yeah. in California. It was, yeah. it was probably something like that. Um, but more in recent years, ever since I moved to Japan, when I go home, I noticed that more and more authentic Japanese restaurants start opening really? up. And yeah. I think people are used to, or traveling more, and just expecting or wanting mm -hmm. the authentic type of yeah. cuisine. Um, but growing up, like we, it was common. Like we had um, mochi everywhere. Yeah, um, like actual mochi or like mochi ice cream? Both. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Both, yeah. We only had mochi ice cream. Oh, yeah. you couldn't get mochi anywhere? We couldn't get mochi oh, anywhere. Man. In Florida, there was like close to none. Like there was barely any agents to begin with. So when I was growing up, there was like, if there was one boba place, mm -hmm. that was the place that all Asians oh, in our place like went to. And uh, but as I grew up, a lot of like Chinese and Vietnamese people started opening up, opening up like sushi places. So that was that. But of course it was Americanized and and no offense, but like it didn't taste as like authentic that I was used to, so it was a little different than uh, the I guess the Japanese food I wanted. So yeah, very difficult to find in my opinion. Yeah, I can imagine. I think for me, I mean, just after living here, especially mm -hmm. like I can't go and live somewhere that doesn't have easy access to Japanese yeah, food. Yeah, I know. Oh. Wait, if you were to go back, like, which, which state would you go back? I'd to? probably have to go to Hawaii oh, or right. West Coast for sure, just because yeah. of all the Japanese and Asian markets and and like towns and neighborhoods. I know. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Never had any of that. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were in school, did your school have like Japanese clubs or anything of that sort? I think so, um, but I don't remember uh -oh. because. I really was not interested in it. Um, so yeah. I, for, for me, like I grew up knowing that I was Japanese and definitely we did Japanese things, yeah. but I wasn't super into like anything specific. So it wasn't until later on growing up that I started to listen to a little bit of J-pop and Japanese mm -hmm. music. Um, I never watched anime. Mm -hmm. um, still don't. I had to take language classes right in high school and I took Japanese. I was the worst oh, Japanese wow. student ever. <laughs> really? um, so I never took anything Japanese seriously. Yeah. So I think there was a club. Yeah, yeah. But I just it was just so off my radar that I uh -huh. just didn't. Oh, I, don't even I see, know. I see. Was it like Japanese people in that club or was it more like let's learn Japanese culture kind of? 
I think it was a lot of Japanese people, or at least definitely yeah. Asian. Oh, okay, that's yeah. pretty cool because uh, my university actually had Japanese club, but no one was Japanese, <laughs> and it was mainly like people who liked watching anime yeah. to study Japanese and hopefully get into the JET program and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a study group, so I never was a part of it. So <laughs> I was more closer to like the Vietnamese group because they were actually Asians, and like I felt more closer to them like, ethnically. Okay. So that was my situation. So Japanese club in Florida was almost like kind of otaku. Like Basically. anime, manga, fanatic type Yeah, of yeah, okay. for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, oh yeah, this was a question that you were requesting to add and I added to my list. Um, about discrimination we face, if any. Yeah, I, I was really curious because in Hawaii, because there's so many Asian people, we don't yeah. really face a lot of <sighs> discrimination. So but you know, especially so like now, yeah. there's so much going on. Yeah. Um, and I know growing up in Florida, you probably weren't around so many Asian people. So, yeah, you know, yeah. was, did you? Come across any of that? Yeah, it was pretty awful because Asians were seen as like tourists. Every time I'd like walk around in a mall or something, people would be like, oh, like, are you from China? Are you from Korea? Like, why do you speak English? Oh my gosh, kind of <laughs> yeah. thing. So I was kind of like alienated a lot, and especially with like Japanese food not like available anywhere. When kids, when other kids saw my lunch, they would be like, ew, what is that? Straight up. So yeah, I definitely dealt with like discrimination or like people just being ignorant. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Growing up in Hawaii, we're around Asian people. Lived in Los Angeles and San Francisco. A lot of Asian people there yeah, too. Yeah. So there wasn't so much. But I, I wouldn't call it discrimination. But um, when I went to my sister's graduation in Omaha, Nebraska, oh gosh, um, I went to a <laughs> store and I remember the two um, workers there. They're like, Oh my God, are you Japanese? And I was like, what? You know? And they're like, Konnichiwa. And like, they're just like excited to see some Asian person and oh I was God. like I've never experienced that ever and that was my daily life <laughs> yeah, so this, it's completely different right yeah yeah it, yeah it was something yeah. man don't take it for granted yeah yeah that was the end of the question okay yeah cool. anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the differences of being Japanese American in Hawaii and Florida because it's quite different and don't forget to check out his channel I'll put his link underneath in the description box and I will be in this video hopefully. And thank you for coming and joining me today. Thank you as well. Thanks for watching.